In the past two training videos, we learned what a style is, and again, a style is a collection of formats that, in this video, will create a custom style that we can apply to this table. And this will include the text within the table and borders and shading. So to create our own custom style, click anywhere within the table so we can bring up this related contextual design tab. Go to the table styles group, and there's all the built-in styles. That, when you hover over one, gives you a preview of it in the document, then also the pop-up, the name of it, which is Grid Table 1 Light Accent 1. So let's go ahead and add to the gallery here by creating our own custom table style by clicking on the More button and going down and selecting New Table Style. Give it a name, maybe something pithy. And then the style type, click on it. Well, we're doing it for a table, so how about if we just leave it as table? Select that. And then style based upon the normal table as opposed to something else. We'll go ahead and click off of it, keep it as table normal. And then when it comes to applying the format, do you want to do it to the entire table or do you have a part of the table like the first row, the header row, that contains the headings for the column or column labels? Or do you want to do it for the total row? So when you check total row, the last row, how's that going to be formatted? You can go ahead and create your own custom total row. Let's go with the whole table, so I'll click off of it. So whatever formatting we apply down below, we'll update the whole table. And there's the preview. So if we want to go ahead and change the font type, you can either go ahead and start typing or clicking on the drop-down arrow. I'll just start typing MO. There's Monotype Corsiva. Hit the tab key. Ooh, that's fancy pants font. I'll stick with that. You can change the size of it, make it bold, change the color, red. And then right now in the preview window, we don't have any borders around the table. So if you want borders, then click on the border drop down arrow. Let's do all borders. And ooh, I don't like that type of border. Let's go ahead and click on the drop down arrow. And let's do a line. And if I want the line to be thicker, then change the width to something thicker. Ooh, that's crazy. Let's go back and do something thinner, maybe a half a point. All right, that's okie dokie. And then you've got the colors, so you can go ahead and choose something like blue for the borders, which, ugh, that's not working for me. So I can click on it and change it to something else. Maybe a, a dark blue would work. And then do we want a fill color for the cells? You can click on the drop down arrow and choose something light. I could roll with that. And then as far as the alignment goes within the cells, we can go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and do a center vertical alignment. So it aligns it vertically as well as horizontally. So align center, looking pretty good. And then you get the description down below of what we applied so far with the formats like monotype Corsiva, bold, font color red, and so on. And you can have it only available in this document or all new documents, including this one. And then if you want additional formats, click on the format button. You can go to table properties. We talked about this in an earlier training video. You can update the alignment, the text wrapping, if you want that applied to this custom table, all the other options there. So you want to watch the training video on tables. Let's go ahead and click Cancel, and we'll say Okie dokie. And then to go ahead and apply it to this table, let's come back up here, click on the More button, and it's right there. Pithy. Click on it, and oh, I've said it so much, it's lost all meaning now, that pithy word. And then if you want to go ahead and modify it, and well, just come back up here and find it and right click on it and say you want to modify the table, make your changes, click okie dokie. And if you want to get rid of it, right click on it and you can delete the table style so it's no longer available. But remember, it's available in new documents. So when I come up here and click on the file tab, go down to new, click on blank document. Well, we have to have a table inserted to apply it. So let's come up here, click on the Insert tab, Table. Let's do a one by one. That's pretty quick, right? And then it's right there. Hover over it. It's pithy. Yay. Let's go ahead and close out and call it good. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.